Your digestive system consists of all the organs involved in breaking down the food you eat, absorbing nutrients, and eliminating waste products. When you take a bite of food, your digestive system is activated automatically. In the stomach, the food is broken down into smaller pieces and digestive juices are added. The now liquid food is passed on to the small intestine. In the small intestine, the digestion and absorption of nutrients takes place. In the large intestine, water and salts are absorbed. The waste products become firmer and turn into stool. The stool is pushed towards the rectum by means of muscle contractions of the intestine walls, also called peristalsis. You have three to four major bowel movements a day. The time it takes for food to pass through your digestive system is called the transit time. The average transit time for females is three to four days and two to three days for males. When stool fills your rectum, nerve endings register that your bowel wall becomes distended and a signal is sent to your brain telling you it's time to find a toilet. At the same time, your internal sphincter relaxes by reflex and stool moves down to the anus. When you are ready, you consciously relax the external sphincter and stool is expelled. Both sphincters are contracted between defecations to keep you continent and prevent leakage. The time it takes for food to pass through the digestive system is called the transit time. If you are constipated, a possible cause may be a very slow transit time. Far too much water is absorbed by the large intestine and stools become hard and dry and difficult to expel despite regular bowel movements. If you have a spinal cord injury, no signal is sent to your brain. You do not register the urge to defecate and you have no conscious control of the external sphincter. As a result, you become fecal incontinent. Anal irrigation is a technique for emptying the bowels and is very effective in preventing constipation and fecal incontinence. Irrigating your bowels with water on a regular basis using a rectal catheter is very effective. After proper training, most people will be able to perform anal irrigation unaided and almost everyone who tries anal irrigation will be able to regain control of the time and place of their toilet visits. The water causes a peristaltic movement of the bowels pushing stool towards the rectum. After a short while, the water and stool will be expelled from the rectum. If carried out every day or every other day, the technique will help you stay continent until your next irrigation. The Peristine Anal Irrigation System contains everything you need to irrigate your bowels. You will be able to carry out the procedure without the help of a carer, even if you have low dexterity. The water must have body temperature. If it's too hot, it may harm the delicate lining of the bowels. If it's too cold, it may cause cramps. To function properly, you must fill the bag completely, even though you will not use all the water for your irrigation. Attach the grey connector to the lid and lock.
attach the blue connector to the catheter and lock. Use the adhesive dots to fix the catheter pouch to a vertical surface. Pump a small amount of water into the pouch to activate the coating. The rectal catheter is coated so no extra lubricant is necessary. Turn the control unit to the balloon symbol to stop the water flow. Wait 30 seconds. The catheter is now easy to insert. Insert the catheter into your rectum. Inflate the balloon to fix the catheter. Your doctor or nurse will help you find out how many pumps you need to avoid leakage. Pump the water slowly into your rectum. Your doctor or nurse will tell you how much water to use for each irrigation. We recommend one pump per second to avoid discomfort. Deflate the balloon and remove the catheter. The water will cause a peristaltic movement of your bowels that pushes stools towards your rectum. Soon, water and stools will be expelled. If nothing happens, it may help to press, cough, or move the upper part of your body. Disconnect the blue connector from the catheter. The rectal catheter is for single use only. Disconnect the grey connector from the lid. Empty the water bag. To prevent leakage, we recommend changing the bag once a month and the screw top and control unit every six months.